Do you like guns? Do you like free? Go play this game. Review over. Still here? Alright, well, this game popped up for me in my discovery queue. Easily one of my favorite parts of Steam, really. I was trudging through game after game of cash grabs, asset flips, looking at you low poly unity asset pack, and cheap, poorly made trash. Then this game pops up. It has shooting? Check. Cool guns? Check. Looter elements in a roguelike setting? D check. Well, let's just look at how much- FREE? Okay, I'm in. It does come from DigiPen, so it's a student project, and while it does show, it's still more than competent and leaves me curious where Gun Hit Wonder will be heading in the future. This game, while lacking in the visual variety department, is perfectly serviceable, especially for free. The design of each room isn't going to leave you misjudging distances, getting you lost, or anything like that. Just simple arenas for you to traverse. Each room will have a different objective, though there isn't much variety in that regard either. Kill everything, survive for a certain amount of time, or break the targets. Ultimately, it's a go until you die high score chaser, with checkpoints in between allowing you to save and quit. Amazingly, they exist for a fast paced roguelike shooter. I appreciate it greatly, honestly. You're not here to hear about the level design or the goals you'll be accomplishing, though, are you? No, you're here because guns! Pow! Shoot, shoot! This game's got them, and you're gonna wanna try them. You get your measly pea shooter with infinite ammo that you get not only to start with, but anytime you run out of ammo for any of the other, well, one million titular firearms. These include revolvers, SMGs, assault rifles, pump action shotguns, assault shotguns, and double barrel shotguns, sadly my least favorite, and miniguns. That's not a lot, right? Of course not. One million comes from combinations of various affixes. So many different possibilities. It even has a little counter at the top right that persists throughout all runs, keeping track of just how many unique weapons you've actually found. These can be found in multiple rarities, being common, rare, epic, and legendary, which only changes the total number of affixes. What are these affixes, you ask? Well, they can be any number of things, from classics like corrosive or explosive, to slightly more unique ones like punchy, which pushes enemies back, to recoil, which pushes you back, or homing, to aesthetic ones like Retro, think Doom, Ultra Thin, think Doom but on the Z axis, big or small. Yes, small. To the truly interesting, like Spider Queen, which launches walking spider mines instead of bullets, or Editorial, which launches words. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but apparently your words can too. So this means you could end up with a legendary, hot and ready, plasma shocking homing. Okay. So this means you could end up with a legendary, hot and ready, plasma shocking, homing, recoil spelunking minigun and go flying across the room, shining a flashlight and raining your sweet seeking beery on the many bots out to get you. That, or maybe a legendary Spider Queen explosive burning combat shotgun and straight up chunk your frame rate. Speaking of bots, there are a small number of them that'll be out to end you. You've got three different driller spiker bots that look straight out of Robot Wars. A few different tanks that are spammier with their projectiles than Brawl era pit mains, and Zerg looking treadbots ready to send your sorry butt back to Space Academy. They're simple, easy to understand, and can still mess up your day. Thankfully, you're pretty light on your feet, so avoiding them while you're filling the room with spiders is also pretty easy. While you move relatively slow on foot, you have a slide that'll boost you a decent distance. You also have a wall run, and the wall run is pretty good allowing you to go at the same altitude for a while, but the wall jump? Good lord, this is the fastest way you're going to be moving around the arena. It's like your character is an average Joe on the floor, but an Olympic long jumper on the walls. That, that was funny, right? Anyway, it's free, it's an early access, and it's a decent little distraction. Perfect for high score chasers or gamers on a budget looking for some action. Thank you for tuning in. This has been a quick Freak Show's take.